Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use outer product rule in heteroassociative memory network to find the optimal weights to map the input vector to the output vector in this case. In this problem definition, we have been given uh, four input vectors. Each input vector contains uh, four values here, S1, S2, S3 and S4. T1 and T2 are the target values in this case. Given this particular data, we need to use outer product rule to find the weight matrix so that we can map this particular input vectors to the output vectors over here. To find the weight matrix in heteroassociative memory network with respect to outer product rule, we use the final following equation. W is equal to summation of P is equal to 1 to the number of inputs here. S transpose of P multiplied by T of P in this particular case. Now what is S? S is the input vector and T is the target vector over here. Now we will start with the first pair. The first pair is 1, 0, 1, 0 that is the input. T is 1, 0 that is the target over here. Now we need to use this particular equation to calculate the weight matrix with respect to the first one. That is nothing but the value of P will be 1 in the first iteration. So that's the reason S transpose of P TP is equal to S transpose of 1 T1 S transpose of 1. So this is the uh, yes here the transpose of this one is 1 0 1 0 in this case. T1. So T is given over here that is as usual we need to multiply this particular thing. So 4 by 1 is the uh, yes matrix s yes, transpose matrix here 1 by 2 is the t matrix the final matrix will be 4 by 2 over here so once you do this particular multiplication uh, we will get the weight matrix with respect to first uh, input pair here that is uh, this is the input and this is the target over here now coming back to the second one second one is 1 0 0 1 here uh, this will be 1 in this case and the target is equal to 1 0 so that is the uh, target i have written now P will become 2. Again, we need to take the transpose of this particular S. That will become 1, 0, 0, 1. And then this particular T is over here. Again, we need to do the uh, multiplication. That's a matrix multiplication. We will get this as the uh, weight matrix over here. Similarly, we will go with the third one. The pair is 1, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1. P is equal to 3. Once I do the again same calculation over here, I will get this particular weight matrix. The same thing will be repeated for the last one that is 0, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1 is the target over here. We will get this as the final the weight matrix with respect to fourth input over here. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to take the summation of all these particular things so that we will get the final weight matrix. So what we do here is the weight matrix W is equal to summation of S transpose of 1 T1 plus S transpose of 2 T2 S transpose of 3 T3 S transpose of 4 T4. We have already calculated all this particular weight matrix. We need to add all these things so that we'll get the final weight matrix in this case. So the final weight matrix in this case is 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1 over here. In this video, I have discussed how to use outer product rule to find the optimal weights in heteroassociative memory network. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.